Hello, in this video, I will edit this photo. Finally, there is a human in the picture. This photo is also taken by phone camera. This time, I will grade the picture for some color scheme. The color scheme assumes that the desired colors will remain in the image, and the unnecessary ones will either be repainted under the desired ones, or they will be desaturated. The easiest way to leave some colors and remove others is to use a channel mixer. The channel mixer is still good because it repaints colors very carefully, and this is very important in case of mobile photography. When you make your own LUTs, please make sure that they do not cause artifacts. Remember that it is better to have an undergraded image than to overgrade it and get artifacts. So, how do you create a color scheme in a channel mixer? You just need to move one of the points toward the other. I will move the blue point towards the green one. Remember that in any color scheme, a skin color should take its place. Skin color most often has warm shades. It is proved that people with blue and green skin in the photo cause the viewer to feel anxious about the health of the color corrector. I will make the skin orange because the second additional color in my color scheme is cold turquoise. The base for my grade is done. Let's set up the contrast using the master curve. I brighten the shadows a little. Also, I'm going to reduce the saturation in the highlights and increase in the shadows. The sky has become too saturated. When you try to repeat the color scheme, watch not only the shades of the colors, but also their saturation. If the main colors in your color scheme are too different in saturation, then this color scheme may look inharmonious. Therefore, on AB Grid, I will reduce the saturation of the sky. First, I select one point. Then, in order to select the remaining points in a clockwise direction, I will hold down Control plus Shift keys and click on the right arrow on the keyboard. Much better. That is before the sky was desaturated. That's after. Here is the source image, and here is the final result. Let's see how it looks on Vectorscope. Here is the distribution of colors before color correction, and here is after. That's all. See you in the next video. Bye, everyone.